Okay, so we'll give you a short overview of the command app. We've got there. It's heavily linked to my operations and that we, that we currently run today. So a quick overview inside the cab here, we have many displays. We've got a row of displays up there that we can configure at the top. We have our main command display that we have down here. Of course today we have it situated in a tractor. It could also be used in a farm office as well. Down the sides we have information of our, of our tractor information that we're driving, we have our satellite Starfire information and on the far side there we also have some alerts we can have from our food and tractors as well. Yeah. We have a command arm on the side we can control, we have a joystick here we can control forward speed and we can also control our steering arm. So firstly, let's, let's concentrate on the map. Um, so you can see here we have a map of the farm. I can, if I want to, I can see in and out of the map here. I have just one farm we're looking at, I also have another farm outside. So firstly, this is us. We've got different fields there. We're first to talk about this particular tractor, and I can assign a job to myself. So up it comes. We're now we're going to go planting today. This year it comes up. We're also looking at the field we're going to go planting in. I can look at the current conditions in that field, ranging from soil temperature. I can have a look at moisture. Um, I can have a look at the overall condition of the field in there, and I can turn on and off the path of my preset how I want to do the I can then self-assign. So what the system is doing here now, you can see it's going through the checklist. We have a whole row of green ticks, which is great, ranging from the seeds in the bins all the way down to final configuration in there. We've got soil moisture, we've got soil status, we've got vacuum pressure, fuel levels, etc. So we can start the job. So off we go. We're now heading to the field. Um, or to the working area in the field, it will pick up. At the moment, I have auto selected, so it's automatically going to start. And you'll see as well our work condition will start to generate on the map. So, green is good, everything's great. As I said, I have an overall view of the field, and then on this side, I have a close up view where I could. If this is in the tractor, I can select some cameras. We can have a forward view, can have a more detailed view on the influence, and of course I can have a have a rear view looking at the back there. So from that side of things, we're working, we're working away. What I can also do here as well, so it's come up, you can see here now actually it's telling us that I've got a quality alert with this particular implement. So we've gone from red, green, sorry, to red. We've transitioned it, and actually the challenge we have is the pressure is not enough in that particular culture to maintain the quality we need. So it's self-adjusting, the, the, the vacuum pressure, you can see it, it's raising the pressure, it's there, we've transitioned back from red to green, it's rectified the problem, I can dismiss that information. As I said, we've got the joystick, I can switch off auto mode, and I can then control my speed. You can hear us speeding up, I can also slow us down, I can also steer left and right with the joystick. So for now, I'll select back to auto mode. We also have on here sort of an invisibility mode. So I can press this, and what that does is open up all the screens to viewing as though we were viewing directly outside of the cab. So I've got a forward view, two side views, actually rear view mirrors, and a view of the sky as well. I can come back and go to operation so with that, let's transition to a little bit more. So we've been through our operation, we're working, we can leave this machine working now, and now let's look what the rest of the fleet is doing. So I can select the button here, it gives me an overview of my map of the farm. I have different oh and I have an alert come in. So I've actually got a scheduled status report coming in here, and actually this is from another vehicle working in a field. It's actually looking at the performance level of mixing the soil. It's not satisfied, with it. so I can look at the details of that report. It come up there and actually lower than expected residue variable. What is the recommendation it's given me is to dispatch a drone and actually give us a report. So I'll dispatch the aerial drone. You can see here it's leaving. It's going to go to the field in question where we had the report and it's going to then evaluate the residue variable. So we'll leave that working. You'll see the drone's going to come in here and work away. 
So there you can see the drone's going across, across the field there, it's coming back. You can see it's awaiting results. This has gone out, it's having a look at the residues. So actually what it's telling me, it's reviewed the information, I can increase the tillage intensity up to 70 pen. So that's approved. We've done that, we've made the change. So it's updated that. So what I could also do, I could call the individual, I could speak to Christian, say we've made some updates, we've increased the density there, we've gone down to 70%. Is everything okay? Thumbs up, we're great. So we've got the equipment working there. Another interesting feature we can do up here, we're looking at our vehicles. I have my team here, I have the field. But here as well I have the weather. So, it's actually giving me a warning. I've got adverse weather conditions coming in. So it's telling me here, actually, the planting field where I'm working is not impacted, but I've got some jobs planned that are going to be impacted by the weather front. So I could reschedule the jobs and I'll approve that from here and up it comes. Two jobs are rescheduled, we've moved the location where they can continue. We can also adjust our forward speed here and control where we are. Sarah's come back, she got the weather alert, she's going to coordinate the change in the jobs that we're behind. So that gives you a very high level overview of the technology we're thinking and potentially how farming could be in the future. Wow, thank you.